Hello guys, I am working on a 2019 Ford F-250. The customer states that the front doors are freezing up on it, the locks, it's cold out, and sometimes the front doors won't unlock, it's hard to open the doors, and they have to let it sit and thaw out for a while, and uh, I'm gonna explain to you exactly what's going on. There's a recall out that is a door lock, door lock freezing recall, and I'm in front of the computer right here, the customer satisfaction program for it is 19N06 and it's called now they've like updated the name for it to be called door door robust update or something like that basically what's going on with this thing and it's pretty simple it's pretty self-explanatory right here behind these this rubber seal See, I'm just, let me flip this camera around. This rubber seal right here is literally falling off. It doesn't even seal anymore. The water gets behind it, and then it falls down on top of the lock. It gets water. You can see there's water build up. Water gets all over that. So the older models did not have that black casing. And did not have that updated door lock rod and so if you've got an older model f-250 i want to say it's like 17 and before those shields and those rods have to be updated if you haven't had it done already the new update basically um the newer trucks they already have the shield in there and the rod in there so what we got to do is we got to go through we put a piece of foam back here we put a piece of foam on the other side of it we seal around that whole entire top area right there we put a little uh, foam insert around this so it goes down to the lock and stops water and stuff from getting in there. And then we even take a clip and we clip a wiper clip right here onto this so every time that cable moves back and forth, it actually cleans anything that'll be on it off. And then we re-grease all this stuff. We take all this foam around the outside off and then we reseal everything back up with a fairly decent... Uh, here it is. Here's the update foam strip for it. The new pads that go inside the door. This goes on the top. This right here insulates it. It's got a little wiper thing for the rod when it goes up and down. This is the little foam piece that you basically put around the cable and then you shoot a bunch of grease and stuff around it so if water was to get in there, uh, it no longer will sit uh, in the lock area it will shield it off and it will fall to the bottom of the door and then you actually pull these drains out of here completely so the door can drain efficiently and then back here behind this window channel I'll go to the other side so I can show you because this side's already done Back here behind this window channel, there's these little metal clips right there. They say water can get around them. And then you clean all this out, and there's a little metal clip right there. And you basically, you take some TA-30 sealant, and you seal from here all the way down, and then you take a foam strip, and you re-foam that whole entire piece to basically seal up that door. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. I'll go ahead and get the other side done, and then I'll show you. So basically... I've got my foam inserted. I'll clean up that little bit of goop that's right there off the vehicle. But I got my foam inserted back there. I got the two little metal tabs covered up. I got my foam ran around my door handle all the way around my new piece. I've got everything all greased up real nice. And right here, it's hard to get foam back there. So what they have you do is they have you run a bead of TA, TA30 silicone around this. So whenever that door handle goes back up in there, it seals in that silicone. Here's my foam pads inserted there, there, my foam pad inserted there, and then I got my little piece around the cable here, and then this is all grease around that. So the water stays away from that handle, and it can't get down inside that locking mechanism, and then I put this water shield back there as well, and the door will ride up and down that, and it will deflect any water from getting... But the main culprit of why the doors are freezing is this seal right here around the door. Almost every single one of them, they're no good. That's the update. That's what it is, guys. That's how you do this job. And basically all it is is a 10 mil here, a 10 mil here, and a 10 mil here. And then on your door panel, when you take your door panel off, 
you've got a seven mil behind this and this little cover seven mil a seven mil here and a seven mil here and if you get up behind this plastic trim piece right here you can flip it off and it, it'll clip it's almost going to seem like you're going to break it but you pull it from the front side and then the little locking tab comes from behind it but you pull from the front and roll it out and this here is the same thing you get a pick back behind it and then you pop it off of there basically that's the recall that's is that that is what it is there's a there's a little seven mil down at the bottom a little seven mil down at the bottom then there's the ones in the handle and then there's the ones that go through the door that i showed you and then pop this plastic piece off here and there's a seven mil right here that's it I hope this has somewhat at least helped shed some information on what you're going to expect whenever you go to get this uh, recall done. The water, the door, the front door is freezing. Uh, 19, what I say, 19903. The numbers are so many numbers, so many recalls. But anyway, that's what it is, guys. So I hope, uh, hope this has uh, shed some light on what to expect when you go in to get the recall done, or why your doors are freezing up. And uh, this is for the F-150s, 250s, 350s, 450s, 550s, any, any of them with this type of door. Thanks, guys. Oh, yeah, one more place. You seal at the top corner right here as well. Be blessed. Subscribe. Thumbs up.